have for you one of those clips that will make you cringe so aggressively that your body feels not great afterwards, okay? Um, you're gonna be unwell after seeing this clip that I have to show you. Republican Senator Ted Cruz was very proud of a little moment during a recent interview. And I would venture to say he shouldn't be so proud of this little thing he did. Um, and it has to do with something I need to give some context in case you missed this story. We covered it earlier in the week, but let me lay that out and then I'll show you the clip. The uh, kind of right wing media ecosystem has erupted over the idea that Biden's going to limit how much beer you can drink per week. Now, in the clip, you're going to see they kind of use different language guidelines sometimes. But the story is Biden's going to control how much beer you can drink per week, which do I have to say he's not going to. Shocking. Um, where this came from was George Coop, the director of the National Institute on alcohol abuse and alcoholism, was doing an interview. And actually, it seems got misquoted. But in the interview, he was talking about if we change our guidelines, which that would go up for review in 2025, <laughs> Um, if we change our advice to Americans, right now it sits at 14 beers per week. Canada has it at two beers per week. So if we change, we might go in the direction of Canada, meaning we might decrease it. And that was changed to mean Biden's going to force you to drink two beers per week. <laughs> it's similar to the gas stove thing. He's going to ban gas stoves. No, he's not. Um, and so now brave Americans are saying, I will not comply with Biden's mythical, not true thing that he's doing. Okay. So with that being said, here is Ted Cruz and he has a message for Joe Biden, the fascist. Um, <laughs> I'm having fun with this one. You can kiss his ass. What do you say? Two beers per week is the recommended yep. allowance. Uh, Look, Eric, tell us about it, it. It is nuts. Number one, why the hell does Biden have an alcohol czar? We, we don't need czars in the United States. But number two, what is it with liberals that want to control every damn aspect of your life? Biden came in. Sorry, let me pause. We're going to start this over. I, I need to make sure I've said this properly. I kind of uh, feel like I've gotten into this because we talked about earlier in the week. But let me say again. It makes sense that the National Institute on alcohol abuse, and we haven't gotten to the good part, so wait, but an alcoholism might say drink less alcohol. That makes a lot of sense to me. It doesn't mean you have to. I would say for our bodies, probably healthiest to just avoid candy, but you can still eat candy. I eat candy sometimes. <laughs> ice cream. I eat ice cream. Probably would be best if I just didn't eat ice cream. Uh, and beer. Probably best if we just weren't drinking a lot of beer, but you could still do it. Great. We do things that aren't great for our body sometimes. But if you're giving advice on the healthiest, two per week or 10 per week or zero per week, it makes sense that the Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism Institute would be more on the side of less. <laughs> okay. Man, this is ridiculous. And it's advice. It's a recommendation. Hey, two beers per week is the recommended... Yep. Allowance? Uh, Look, Eric, tell us about it. It, it. it is nuts. Number one, why the hell does Biden have an alcohol czar? We, we don't need czars in the United States. But number two, what is it with liberals that want to control every damn aspect of your life? Biden came in. One of the first things they wanted to do was ban gas stoves. New York State has now done That's not true. <laughs> that for new construction. They're trying to go after and regulate ceiling fans. I got to tell you, it's hot in Texas. We don't want to get rid of our ceiling fans. And now these idiots have come out and said, drink two beers a week. That's their guideline. Well, I got to tell you, if they want us to drink two beers a tell week, me, frankly, they can kiss my ass. No, Tough. okay. Um, Senator, I, uh, I brought a beer to drink with you. I'll drink this non-alcoholic beer with you because I'm not allowed to drink on camera, but I'll have, I'll have a sip. In well, the meantime, look, but, I, I got to say, so what, have you ever seen a brand do more damage to itself than Bud Light, which which single handedly seemed to destroy themselves? So I'm glad you're not drinking a Bud Light. 
Personally, I'm fond of Shiner Bach, which is a good uh, te Texas brand. I've been to the Shiner Brewery in Shiner, Texas, and I recommend it. And I promise you, this is not alcohol-free beer down here. Okay. And he had to reference Bud Light. Why is Bud Light in the eyes of Ted Cruz uh, bad? Because they sponsored a trans woman. Oh, what else? What did the trans woman do that was bad? They sponsored a trans woman. That was it. That was the controversy. So a lot packed into that one clip. But the why is always important. We make fun of these silly clips. And uh, it's important to say why. Why is he doing that? Why is the obsession boycotting Bud Light? And then, as DeSantis has proposed, suing them over them uh, experiencing financial a financial downturn, their stock price going down because of the boycott that he encouraged. Huh? Um, and then <laughs> it's just so ridiculous. Or Biden's coming for your gas stove when he's not, or as Marsha Blackburn said, Biden's horrible with his green new deal policy in relation to regulations from the department of energy that would change, uh, the regulations around water heaters and save consumers billions of dollars, which is bad because and then on and on and on we go. He's going to come steal your steak. He's not going to allow you to eat steak anymore. Was one earlier on in Biden's presidency or he's going to end Christmas or why? To distract from the failed policies of Ted Cruz. To distract from the fact that his constituents, no matter how many times he takes a sip of beer on camera or says, kiss my ass to Biden, he's not actually improving their lives. He didn't help to implement the American Rescue Plan. Democrats did. He didn't help to implement the first major gun safety bill in decades. Democrats did and some Republicans. He didn't get through the uh, large investment in the energy of the future being green energy that will create millions of green energy jobs. He didn't um, lower prescription drug costs. He actively fought against the lowering of prescription drug costs for Medicare recipients, including capping the cost of insulin at $35 out of pocket per month for them. He fought against that. He was a part of preventing all Americans from experiencing their insulin cost uh, decrease. He didn't help to implement a once in a generation infrastructure law that will be rebuilding roads and bridges, increasing access to clean, reliable drinking water, repairing airports, expanding broadband and investing in passenger rail. Democrats did that and some Republicans on that one. Um, it, and that's why he has to do a bunch of nonsense like this because then it's oh ted cruz my guy i'm gonna vote for him because he said kiss my ass to Biden, and he's fighting back against the bad libs well the bad libs are actually doing some stuff meanwhile republicans are investigating biden more <laughs> than you could possibly imagine and finding nothing tells you everything you need to know about the modern republican party Thank you so much for watching. If you want to be a part of what makes this show possible, plus get access to the full video version of the show hours before all the clips are able to be uploaded to the YouTube channel, plus get the bonus show on the weekends, you can do so by going to lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership. That's lukebeasleyshow.com slash membership, and there's a link in the description.